favorites today. And I love this. It takes me back to some of my original <laughs> cooking. In studio with us today, we have Juliana Barniger and Brooke DeRosa. Hi. And uh, we'll say hello to them in a few minutes. Meet me over in the kitchen and we'll get cooking. And good morning again, everybody. Um, welcome to you guys. Thank you uh, for coming. How are you guys doing? Good, great. Yeah, excellent. Uh, so today, again, always gluten-free and always delicious. Uh, Italian favorites, we're doing um, bruschetta, which will be fun and tasty. It's light, it's summer, you know, yeah. good mm -hmm. things will happen there. Um, another one of my favorite appetizers, um, grow, uh, Italian sausage and, and bell peppers. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to be finishing this off with chicken parmesan. Um, this is a recipe I've done since I was this big. You know, started an Italian restaurant when I was like 13 as a busboy, but then the chef was always like, here's how you make this, and here's how you make this. So it's always just been uh, in the blood. And then my aunt's mother, she was um, Italian and just always making fresh pasta and fresh sauces. So it's like back to roots, yeah. back, to, back to the cooking and stuff like that. And, you know... Seems kind of fitting with the passing of Mr. Tony Soprano. There you go. Yeah. In his honor. Yes. I will eat in his honor. That's right. Prayers and condolences <laughs> out to the uh, Gandolfini family. Um, so we're going to get started. Um, I'm going to do the bruschetta first, if that's okay with you. Yeah. Everyone's happy. Which, by the way, Excellent. I, I, it's all cracking up. Uh, feed I thought us. I thought it was bruschetta. I, I, never, I never heard the pronounce. Um, there's... Bruschetta, the, yeah. Yeah, there's different rules of pronunciation like if you see a, a c by itself or if you see a ch a ch is usually a k sound okay. in okay. in uh italian um so we got this um great gluten-free uh baguette and it's got almost kind of a brioche texture to it um and it bakes off really really well uh it just makes great little great little toast points mm, toast points toast points <clears throat> so cia ciabatta bread right correct Yes. Okay. My mom. Happy birthday, mom, by the way, if you're watching. Um, <laughs> she would say Ciabatta. We were not Italian, but I knew that so one. Wrong. I knew that one was so wrong. wrong. <laughs> I didn't know bruschetta, but I knew ciabatta. Yeah, it def definitely like a C by itself has the CH sound, so it's, okay. it's okay. reversed. Um, and the easiest way for people to remember that is just think of Chianti. So the, the wine. Okay. C H I, yeah. I could probably use finger. some of that I right know. now. <laughs> uh, so for the food cam here, we've got our little toast points. I'm just going to hit these with a little bit of olive oil. So you grew up Italian. Did you eat a lot of Italian food? Traditional. All Italian food. <laughs> All Italian food. <laughs> and we're just going to throw those down there to kind of toast up while we do our tomatoes and stuff. Um, the, you grew up in New York, right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, you can imagine being having to be gluten free. What that does to an Italian? Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, it's that's, a nightmare. Everything has that gluten. is nightmare. Um, so Roma tomatoes mm. is what I use um, for bruschetta on the food cam here. Nice Roma tomatoes. Um, a lot of I've seen a lot of people cook these. Like they'll put them in boiling water for a few seconds and then chill them real quick, and then peel the skins off. Mm. I just I, I don't know. I like it. I like it fresh. I don't yeah. like to. I don't know, it's me. Um, but what I will do is, you see the seeds and core in here, okay. like that. Mm -hmm. So I'll just kind of yeah. de-seed those and pop that I'm out sure. so we're not getting, <laughs> you never, <laughs> yeah, you, you, water glass over you just kind of wreck them. Oh, okay, gotcha. You know, so you end up with that for you at home on the can, your de-seeded Roma tomatoes. Um, yeah, and then just give them a little dice. Now, traditionally, you get tomatoes, garlic, basil. Um, I think we all know, Juliana, you know, you were on before that I like to yes. break things and change them up a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if it's really breaking them, but, you know, making them a little more, a little more interesting. The tree um, touch on it. The Drew touch, yes, is on, <laughs> is on the bruschetta. Uh, so, 
just gonna flip these over real quick. So what kind of bread is that again? Where is it? This is a baguette, and um, I got this at a local store just right down the street. It's um, it's in their freezer section. Um, and yeah, it's very similar to a brioche. It's it's actually pretty nice. Um, so then also for this capers. Okay. Which you're not supposed to eat, correct? Why? I love capers. Are you? I always wondered about that too. Okay. Like in piccata and stuff, are you supposed to eat? I didn't know if oh, that, yeah. that was just a flavor because sometimes oh, no. you bite into kind of, that and it's very powerful. Are you like kidding? Chicken, I eat like these things like they're going out of style. Oh, I think so. You just chew on those, you'd be good. All the ladies to kiss you. And a little bit of, if that's the secret, I need to buy more. Um, olive oil. Do a little bit of salt. We always salt everything. Yes, a little bit of iodine is good for you. Ah, kosher salt. Mm. And sea salt, so we don't have to we don't have to worry about that. Alrighty. Let those cool there. Close that so we don't cook ourselves too much. And then, I'm still waking up. I know, busy man. <laughs> hey, From cupcakes. You and me both. To Italian. And some freshly ground pepper. Um, so, you guys are both eating gluten-free? I have been eating gluten-free since this January, so about half a year. How, how are you feeling? Are you so noticing much, like... Oh, so much better, yeah. I've kept off a little... Um, I was just telling her about five pounds of just fluff. Fluff. And, um, <laughs> the I've fluff. got a lot of fluff. The fluff, the, the gluten fluff. Um, <laughs> I love bagels in the morning, you know, and everything. And But but there's so many substitutions out there this day. A little bit of balsamic vintage. vinegar. Oh, nice. Yeah, you go home. A little, so little shot perfect. of balsamic vinegar there. And last episode was really yummy, too, so I'm excited to be back. Oh, with the... Um, we had shrimp. The tamales. Yes, yeah. tamales. We did uh, gluten-free tamales, but we did like a curried tomato thing. Oh, wow. There. Wrapped in cabbage. Um, so, again, if you're cooking for a party or people, you want to make sure you're always tasting. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to give you guys anything that I wouldn't eat myself. There's actually a list of things that I wouldn't. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Always looking at Drew. So those are just lightly toasted? These are just lightly toasted. Okay. Because the bread's already kind of crunchy. With some olive oil, right? Yeah. With That's olive good. oil. I can do this. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> you, Brooke, you should be able to do this in your sleep. It should be like second nature. I know. Right? Uh, I did not get that gene. I just got the opera singing. The opera singing. Well, you can't have it all. That's I mean, right. You, opera um, singer. You do a lot of uh, vocal work and composing and yeah. all kinds of stuff. You met Hans Zimmer. Mm. And John Williams. And John. <laughs> <laughs> Had to. See, I, I, I'd be more. John Williams, I think I could talk to. Hans Zimmer, I'd just be like. Hmm. He was so nice. We took a picture and he goes, we have to take another one. My eyes were closed. <laughs> he was like really self-conscious about it. I was like, I promise I won't put that one up. Yeah, I bet when I was like, don't put that one up. At that level, you got all kinds of photos floating around. And yeah. <laughs> so we're just going to take our bruschetta. So you can sing while we're doing this episode mm -hmm. to us. Ser <laughs> Serenade Drew as he cooks. Yeah, it's a little early. But <laughs> it's a little early for opera? Yeah. <laughs> No, but this is good because I have to be really careful when I'm singing. I can't eat gluten because it just, um, I, so get, I get the thing where I, cl I clear my throat a lot. I have like mm -hmm. a lot of extra. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. I'm like constantly doing that. Do you have so, an upcoming show? No, I just finished one and then I, yeah, I have a concert in July and then I have nice. something in August and I have something in September. Nice. So it's good. Put that over there out of our way and then I like to hit it with just a little bit of, this, this is actually a, um, three cheese blend that Ooh. I got here. Uh, Asiago, Parmesan, and Romano. Hmm. I like it, everything about what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like they, they taught, cheese. like in life, they say there's there's um, love languages. There's like the five love languages. Um, mine is really just food. <laughs> Start naming ingredients and, and we're good. Hey man, a man that can cook. 
That's what I like. Listen. Yes. All of you. Did you hear that? <laughs> it is impressive. It's all okay. about presentation. So for you at home, here oh is God. your ruscheta. And we're going to get these over to the ladies. <gasps> oh, thank you. So they can here enjoy that. I feel like this is begin. a trick. Like I just sit here and I eat this. And that's all <laughs> I have to you have to do nothing more. <laughs> Well, we have some projects coming up. We'll hit you up for music or something. That'll be, <laughs> okay. that'll be the trade-off. Mm. Well, you guys are enjoying that. Okay. I am going to get the I'm sausages gonna going. I'm gonna it's really good. Because these will take a couple mm. of minutes. I agree with the freshness of the tomato. I like fresh vegetables. Mm. I don't like them when they're overcooked. Oh, okay. It's more juicy. Yeah, I would think cooking those would kind of wreck. It'd be more like a um, like salsa almost. Yeah. Mm. Um, but even in that, I like I tend to go more of a pico de gallo instead of a cooked salsa. Mm. I don't cook a lot of I things. I don't cook... <laughs> right? Because it doesn't have that it texture that a lot no. of the stuff mm -hmm. does. Um, this is perfect, though. Yeah, even a lot of my um, sauces I don't cook for hours and hours like a lot of people do with their marineras and things like that. Hmm. I just... I don't know. It, I mean, depending on what you're doing. Sometimes it, it'll help incorporate more flavor. Um, but, like, if I do a marinara, I like to take the fresh tomatoes right into the pan and cook them there, you okay. know, and saute them down instead of just, you know, eight hours on the pot and yeah. yada yada. Who has eight hours? Whatever, I put some prego in the thing. I'm like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> there you go. It's like, <laughs> I know. If you had an Italian flag flying at home, it probably just fell on the ground oh. when you said. Um, so for our Italian sausage, we've got just a sweet Italian sausage. You can use hot Italian sausage if you want. Um, I didn't know if you guys liked spicy, so I, I like went, it all. I went sweet mm. on this. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to get just a quick sweet. pan sear on this. Mm. What are you doing over there? Spilling stuff. It's okay. It's a little messy over here. Just, well, just you know, focus on the show. You know, this is why I drink out of straws and people laugh at me. Oh, did you get the dribble glass? Well, yeah, but I just, you know, I miss my mouth sometimes. So. <laughs> you know, it, it happens. It happens like to the best of us. Five pound glass over here in my defense. It's because we're so <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> Kids at the table. <laughs> you know, and that's the other great thing about <laughs> Italian food too, is it just makes that, you know, you can be boisterous. It's it's, it's all fun, it's all I about a good people. time. Yeah. We're good people. It's all about the This is really good. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Like and it, it was fresh. It, it, didn't, it didn't take that long, you know? So, was, good. so how are we going to eat this and that and chicken? <laughs> eat fast. I told you last time. <laughs> oh, man. I don't. Okay. He was gracious enough to pack it all up ahead of for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner. I do love the sauce. All right. So we're going to get those in there. Um, so now to go with the Italian sausages, we need, you know, accoutrements. Um, do you have, do you have like any, any shows, any projects coming up, or where can people uh, hear yeah. some of your music? Yeah, well, they can go to my website, which is brooktorose.com. <laughs> but I have a, I'm doing a full-length feature film. I'm scoring it. It's got Lance Henriksen oh. in it called Needle Stick. And um, I'm working on something with Justin I can't talk about. And <laughs> then uh, just, you know, like a lot of other projects, I'm writing something of my own, um, a little opera, like a mini opera for kids based on Red Riding Hood. And nice. then, yeah, and then I'm just doing the opera stuff a lot too, so pretty busy. Nice. But plenty of time for food. <laughs> There's always time for food. What, you, food. what are you working on? Um, right now, I just signed with a new agency in the sports and specialty division. So I've been honing my special skills, which are, I guess, roller skating, rollerblading, I hula hoop. So I've been going on some interesting <laughs> auditions. I shot a Japanese music video a couple weeks ago. It was really fun. Um, and was that, was that with the roller? Yeah, that stuff? was the, and then I, I was gifted some vintage suede roller skates from that. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. I go to Venice Lawn Skate and I'm trying to bring back the days of roller skating lessons as a child. So pretty good. Cool. When you need a roller skater in LA, there's not that many girls that you know can do this. The, the musical theater everything. person in me just wants to be like Starlight Express. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? Starlight that would be fun. Express? That would be fun. That was oh, probably man. one of the better, um, <laughs> I guess, Lloyd Webber's that I like. Yeah, that was the one where they're all roller, the roller skating. I would love to do that. Um, I'm going. Yeah, that. To put some um, basil going here. I've got a feature that's supposed to shoot back in Pennsylvania. Actually, I'm from Pennsylvania, but I've never been to the East Side. 
Oh, so cool. it will shoot in Philadelphia um, next fall. Sweet. And um, until then, just a bunch of little projects, auditioning, working with this uh, awesome director-writer, Andrew Doyle, if you've heard of him, off and on. So I'm going to take these. What I did is just put a quick sear on these for you on the at home on the food cam here. Just put a quick sear on these, okay. and then they're going to go in the oven and finish off while we. Oh, the bottom of that gets hot really quick. Um, <laughs> while we finish the other, while we finish the stuff that's going to go with that, and what's going to go with that is going to be some more Roma tomatoes. Uh, like that. We got some yellow bell peppers. I like yellow bell peppers. Yellow and orange bell peppers are great. Just so sweet. They um, are. The orange ones. We got the red ones. And then we got some uh, some white onion. So we're going to get this stuff going in the pan. I'm going to put the onions and peppers in the pan all at the same time because they have about the same texture. Mm -hmm. um, so those will all cook pretty evenly together. And then, as those cook down, we will add, got some shaved garlic here. Mm. Um, so it's delicious. I don't know if this is date food. It, it may it <laughs> take some mint or gum yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. um, and then the tomatoes, and we'll put those in with this at the same time. And then we'll throw this chiffonade basil in at the end. And for you at home, Chiffonade basil, you take the leaves. Um, I probably should have, but you know. Um, I saw that a little and you, bit. You roll them up, and then you just do a nice thin little cut oh, so your okay. basil comes out oh. like that. And oh. you on the food can, there's your chiffonade so basil. Um, basil's up there on my favorite herb list, I think. It's just, yeah, lassoing myself with the mic cable mm -hmm. twice. <laughs> Oh, geez. You just make this look a lot easier than I think this would be if I tried to do this. Like that? Uh, da, da, da. Well, you know, it's just a just a thing. Um, yeah, and you know, it's funny, like, how just how prevalent, like, gluten-free is becoming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And I say becoming because, you know, 10 years ago when I did the gluten-free restaurant in Detroit, it was super hard to find any kind of quality, um, quality products. You yeah. know, I think people were more more impressed with the fact that they could do it than, you know, the detail of what's the texture, what's it tasting like. It was just kind of like, yay, gluten-free bread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't that much awareness of it, you know, kind of what uh, right. everyone's being aware now, of all I, I've heard in Italy, I, I believe I read this somewhere, is newborns are tested for celiac. Like, it, it's that oh. prevalent over Wow. There. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Um, so... Like, it's, it's more aware there than it is here. You said where is that again? In Italy. Okay. I mean, that I book, Eat Right Beer Blood Type, it'll, it'll say that a lot of uh, Europeans are as O blood type, which I was asking you if a lot of O's have a wheat sensitivity or gluten sensitivity, so. Makes sense. Yeah, um, you know, and I, I think if we still here in America encounter a lot of people that think this is trendy or fatty yeah. or yeah, fatty, F-A-D, not. Yeah. You know, <laughs> fatty, got fat, it. Yeah, a fat. Um, and you know, it really isn't like once they, you start to understand celiac disease and, and gluten intolerance, and then yeah. what when gluten gets broken down in your body, what it actually does. Exactly. And um, I was just reading an article last week where they um, are saying gluten is only one of 23,000 allergens in wheat. Wow, yeah, uh. so to say like gluten's the bad guy is like seeing the tip of an iceberg and going, Oh, yeah. Just a little chunk of ice, and you don't realize what else is involved with that. Well, wheat is so processed. I read an article months and months ago just talking about how, you know, the the wheat bread or the bread of our great-grandparents was probably 2% gluten. You know, the yeast makes it rise, gluten makes it fluffy, but now our bread is like 50% gluten, so you're just getting yeah. really, because we just want more, and, you know, it's all about cheaper, making more product, and you never know what's in the bread these days, so. Well, I think... And this, this is my theory, don't hold this to scientific fact, <laughs> you at home. I mean, you can go and research this. Um, but I read another article, I do a lot of reading about this. Um, another article that was saying, as gluten is broken down, the gliadin part of it, um, the brain actually 
sees as an opiate. Oh. Um, so it has like those kind of effects. Huh. And we have the same kind of cells in our um, digestive tract that we have in our brain. So it starts to, that's, I think that's where some of the addictive qualities of bread come from because mm -hmm. if you keep it out of your system for so long or even a little while and that chemical's not in your stream, your blood or your brain is like missing something. Totally. Yeah. And I it create, that creates the craving. I definitely agree. Since I've cut out the, the bread, I mean, like I said, I was bagels, I was eating pastas, and I love those $2 Tony's pizzas out of the frozen section sometimes. <laughs> really nice, but um, cutting it out, I just, you feel better, more energy, and you don't miss it once you cut it out, but. Right. And the bread's so sugary, it's addicting. I've actually made it, this is three, almost three weeks now without um, bread or, yeah, or wow. pop, like r regular pasta or anything. Um, so these Roma tomatoes here and uh, shaved garlic uh, you at home. Uh, all the tomatoes are going to go in. Not all the shaved garlic is going to go in. <laughs> Keep those vampires away. We don't want to. We don't want to <laughs> kill anyone with garlic. We just. Uh, we just want to make you safe from vampires. <laughs> That's important. Hmm, good. Seeds here for you at home going on to the. Just for a tiny bit of heat, not a lot. And salt. So I'm going to Vegas next Thursday. Well, that's very fun. excited. Very excited. It's gonna be hot. Yeah, it's <laughs> gonna be really hot. Going with some friends, and my parents are actually flying in, and we're gonna see. A, we're staying at the MGM and see Ka. So I'm excited to see a Cirque show, and then uh, come back. It's Fourth of July weekend, and my birthday coming up. So yeah. Right. I cook for my parents while they're here. For my I, I mean, I can. Oh, you. I meant me. I mean, I was saying, yeah, you should. You oh, I thought should. you like, put me on the spot. That's where neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just run over okay. in the morning and then wake them up. Here, I made you breakfast. <laughs> great. We did some great breakfast and bed stuff oh. uh, for Mother's Day. Oh, cool. We did, um, we did some uh, French toast with, like, strawberry and kiwi and mango relish um, and agave syrup. Hmm. And then, hmm. um, so you guys can check that out. It was episode five. Uh, s'mores pancakes with like a black cherry kind of. I know. <laughs> yeah, we had mar marshmallow fluff, everything. And, you know, all these things that people are like, well, oh, you have me in s'mores I have to be gluten free now, so I'm not going to be able to <laughs> eat this, that, and the other. Um, just a little bit of white wine going in here. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. When you're cooking, and if you if you use wine, only use wine that you would drink. Okay. Like you know, there's there's there's. Yeah. Wines out there, and you're like, "Hey, white wine, dollar ninety nine. It's yeah. next to the vinegar. There's a reason why it's next to the vinegar, because oh. <laughs> it's about one minute away from becoming vinegar. Oh. Um, so you want to only cook with a wine that you would drink. So that um, Pinot Grigio, uh, if you're trying to keep it light, um, Chardonnay, if you got something you want that oaky, buttery flavor to, um, and then just a Merlot if you're going to use, or a Burgundy if you're going to uh, use a red on okay. something. I mean, I'm usually a two buck chuck girl, but not too fancy, but yeah. <laughs> too fancy for cooking. Excellent. I've never really cooked with wines. What does a wine do to... Um, mostly flavor, um, but anytime you're sautéing and you put a liquid in, in a pan, it, it deglazes the pan, um, which means it picks up all those like little crispies that you get on the, mm -hmm. on the bottom. Uh -huh. It'll pick those up and add that flavor back into your food because... So I'm like, oh, it burned. Like, no, that's flavor. Don't put, you want to keep that. Oh. So it's, it's yummy bits. Awesome. <laughs> a lot I don't know. Do you have Amanda cook for right now? <laughs> Did I open up a can of worms? I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm not going to... I, I, I was thinking about my personal life. Oh, okay. I was going to answer no, but I'm, that's good because I'm not looking for a man. No, I, I, I roll my eyes because I know my mother's watching. Oh, oh sorry. Boy. <laughs> yeah. On her iPad. She said it on the show. <laughs> this is what you need. It happens. Moms, we love you. Yeah. Thank you for watching out for us. Uh, so now I'm going to, we've got a nice tenderness on these vegetables. Uh, so if the food cam wants to come over here, take a look at this. Uh, just going to throw this basil in here so that starts to cook in. Um, and um, Are you wafting? You just, I, I'm trying to waft. Ooh. So just get Ooh. all the... Jeez. Spices and wow. flavors and okay. all that fun stuff. I'm on there. board with this. <laughs> <laughs> That's good.
Uh, this is just, you know, it's one of those nice little appetizers that um, I like, you know, and it's quick, fairly quick. So this is also an appetizer coming up? This is also an appetizer oh, coming goodness. up. So we're just going to give that a couple more seconds in there. I feel that. I mean, I have it. Okay. I'm gonna... I know. I'm saving a little bit of room because I'm pretty excited to have a second meal of all this later. <laughs> I always start out planning to cook for two, but end up cooking for like four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Got to have leftovers, right? Exactly. Um, so now, like with... Most oh, well. meats. <laughs> hey. We want to let these rest for a couple minutes before we serve them. So, I mean, these were pretty easy. Just did a quick sear on them, and then in the oven for about eight minutes. Um, and you can check they're done this just kind of by pushing on them. Okay. And if they resist, they're they're done. And a lot, you know, these sausages. I like to go medium, medium well on them. You don't need to cook them until they're dead. You, you know, you don't want to cook the, the juice and everything out of them. Yeah. We're not making jerky. Okay. Which I thought... Are you a bacon fan at all? Anyone bacon? I, I, I do the turkey all? bacon. No, so I'm, I mean, I like bacon. I'm, oh. I'm not going to I'm like a bacon drive. fiend. Yeah, like I've noticed. Lot. I've seen on um, Facebook. Use it in a lot of things. Right, see? <laughs> um, so I was driving to set the other day, and I you know stopped to get a bottle of water. So I'm walking up to the register. Um, I got in a vitamin water, too. So I'm not trying to not do the soda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't work the other night at dinner, though. But um, uh, So anyway, so I'm walking to the register, and where they have all the beef jerky? Bacon jerky. <laughs> Get him right now. It, so it was. I was. Uh, oh, <laughs> it, was, it was magic. It was like little elves came, and they were just like, here, breakfast. Um, and it's really not jerky. Oh, it's like, it's a, it's a bag of bacon. A bag of bacon. <laughs> I mean... There you go. I've seen I've seen a Old cocktail bacon. with a bacon <laughs> garnish in it. I thought of you. It's a, Don't they make cupcakes with bacon on them now? It's what? like a yes. thing. Yes. Yeah, they take like bacon and they put like I don't know brown sugar in it. It's like first maple what? and bacon it's be good ice cream because it's the salty and, and the sweet. Yeah. I understand wow. the concept. So you're not sold I yet. Just don't. I know. <laughs> the bacon and the the alcohol cocktail was interesting to me to see that little garnish. I'm like, really? I guess it's like the olive of a Bloody go. Mary at nice the end. Nice medium on these. These are great. That might be good. Bloody Marys with bacon in them. It would make sense. Yeah. Breakfast, hangover, olive, celery, bacon. I'm on board. There you go. I am on board. Oh, jeez. You had me a bacon. You had me a bacon. <laughs> All right, so we bacon are going to take what? these. We got our nice medium sausage here. Three meat because it increases weight loss for O supposedly because it has the iodine and O is the oldest blood type. So our bodies O is typically have more acidic stomachs to break down meat. Stay. I'm gonna throw so, one thing on here that I wasn't planning on doing. So give me a minute. Keep talking while I dig through my pantry. So um, that I was saying a little bit of iodized salt, even though salt holds water weight. A little bit of iodine actually isn't bad for O's too. Hmm. So I was trying to avoid the salt. Before. Ooh! This is gonna set this Please. off, and this okay. is just a nice little. Everything looks so pretty when you do it. Oh my god, I know. I'm like, there's no way I could replicate that. I, I mean, I would set out and it would just be like everything would have like been like completely mushy and disgusting. Now we'll put some fresh herbs on there. Yeah, there you go, fresh herbs. All right, so for you at home, here is our um, Italian sausage with peppers. Yeah. Wow, I'm holding it and I still forgot. Yummy. So, Don't take it. There you go. Wow. I know. Do you want me to set this? Sure, definitely. Thank I'll you. I'll set this down here for you. Do not toss. Do not. Do not right. toss. All right, Just, so no. chicken Instagram. parmesan. Wow. I'm going to make a quick sweet little tomato sauce for this. It's okay to mess this up. It looks so pretty. Go for it. Okay. So we got awesome. some crushed tomatoes here. Not prego. <laughs> Not prego. <laughs> um, and I like for Parmesan, I like it to be a little bit sweeter, the, the sauce. Uh, so I'm going to do tomato paste in here. Oh, okay. This will sweeten it up nicely. Tomato paste. Did you make that? No. Oh. <laughs> I know, you know. You don't I, have all the time I, I can, in the world. I can you only have do to sleep some hour, right? A couple. A couple. Six 
really good. I'll sleep when I drive to set or something like that. <laughs> Don't do that. Mm. Um, some chopped garlic. It's very yummy. Mm. Mm -hmm. We'll do some fresh oh, this is so herb blend in here. Um, this is really, really good. So we'll save flavor. just enough for the for the end here. Um, but I like to do this fresh herb blend. You know, you can buy the dry Italian seasonings. I like to get uh, basil, thyme, rosemary, chop them up, mix them together. Um, and then you can just keep them in a baggie in the refrigerator, not in the dashboard of your car, because then you get pulled over and you get... <laughs> it's a lot of paperwork. Why would you... Um, well, if you're taking them to go cook some... Anyways. Um, but it, it just adds a lot of flavor to to food and cooking to through the week. Oh, jeez, Drew. Sleeping while you're driving with herbs on your car. <laughs> no, officer, I promise. It was... <laughs> now we're just going to whisk this all together. So basil, thyme? Thyme? Thyme. Thyme. Yep. And... Rosemary. Rosemary. Together. Yes. Top in a bag. Okay. Yes. Chop them up, throw them in a bag. Um, as always, a little bit of salt. Parsley and sage. <laughs> sage is one of those things, uh, just uh, so good. And you do like a nice salt and buca where you take the chicken, uh, some prosciutto, some fontina cheese, and some uh, fresh sage in there and sear it. And it's, uh, oh. I was making a song reference. <laughs> Never mind. Right. <laughs> it's only 11.30, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what was the song reference? I missed this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. What is that? Simon, Simon yeah. and Garfunkel. Okay, sorry guys. It's okay. Oh. We forgive you. We forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Whoa. Here's Sausage our is trying sauce. to run away from me. What are you doing over there? They're throwing food at me this now. This meat. This nicely seasoned meat. This is so good. Yes. So that is beautiful there. Now. Ooh. You're right about these peppers. Yeah, I've just recently gotten into the, pep the sweet peppers. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I use red pepper a lot. Um, you know, which is just okay. Yeah, the just yellow and the orange are very sweet. Set that over there. Yeah, little pepper. Gonna get our pan hot. Now I'll show you, show you guys how to bread this. Mm. And we got a nice little pasta going with the chicken parmesan as well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, take little bites. <laughs> Chew thoroughly so you have room. Um, so, I'll explain that in a second. Got some explaining to do. I got some explaining to do. So, breading. This. Yeah. In gluten free. Can be tricky, but you know what? We've got lots of practice. Yeah. So with your chicken, I like to do chicken parmesan kind of thin. Uh, so in order to do that, you need to pound it. Ooh. Sorry. Violence? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Violence? Me? So skin side down on your on your plastic wrap here. So, you know, you have your, your skin side, which is the smooth side, then you have the side that is not smooth, <laughs> which would be the non smooth Well, I didn't even side. know that, so. So non-smooth side? There's something right away. Yes, yeah, so smooth side, smooth side down. Okay. Skin side down. Fold this over. We wanna protect our cutting board here. Oh. Mm -hmm. So you got, your, you got your smooth side of this, kind of like chicken, mm -hmm. and then you got your, your bumpy side. Um, I use this more for like beef. I'm making like little beef medallions, and then this side for the chicken because the chicken's a little more um, sinewy, fibrous. 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 It's, yes. Close. <laughs> That's the word I was going for. Uh, and now we're just gonna Be talk amongst yourselves while I pound the. Okay. Pound that chicken. Um, <laughs> oh, and two. When when you're pounding, you kind of want to do a little <laughs> like. Put, did what? we, oh, no, did we just go PG thirteen here? No, what happened? Yeah, she just. I just. Up. Okay, all right. Uh, you kind of, you know, pound out so you're flattening it, and it's gonna wiggle. Teach me everything you know, Drew. Wow. It'll wake up the neighbors. You really are pounding out that chicken breast. That is crazy. I've got a lot of experience <laughs> with yeah. pounding. Never mind. 
it's a cooking reference. Come much. on, it's you know okay. I've been cooking for years. It's a, it's a... I know. I mean, it's crazy. I never, I would never think to. But then I, I've had chicken where it's that thin, but I never realized it was made this way. I mean, you I can was just you can cut it. Chicken. You, <laughs> chicken. <laughs> Chickens with anorexia. Okay, yeah, you guys go over the there. You're for Parmesan. Um, <laughs> and this, this kind of tenderizes it a little bit, too. Okay. So you want to do this until it's just about quarter inch thick, half hmm. inch thick. Um, and set that there for a minute. Um, so for you at home, you know, we've got this nice kind of thin piece crazy. of chicken now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, just kind of pound it out. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautimous. All right, so we'll leave that guy there. Um, so when you're doing this, you want to get your flour first. So there's a few steps to an egg wash and, and breading something. Um, flour. Is that just a gluten-free? This, this is a white rice flour. A white rice flour, mm -hmm. okay. Um, you can use any gluten-free flour that you want. This is lighter, okay. um, I, and I just like the texture of it a little bit better. Um, so it's always flour, egg wash or egg dip, which is, this is uh, two eggs and one cup of cream. Mm -hmm. Just whipping cream? Together. Uh, I actually used half and half okay. on that. Um, and then your breadcrumbs, and you season everything. So there's a little bit of salt and pepper in here. Uh, food cam, where are you? There's <laughs> a little bit of salt and pepper in here in the rice flour mix. Um, this is just two eggs and one cup of cream. And then we have our gluten-free breadcrumbs at the end here. And in there I put some salt, pepper, a little bit of uh, uh, granulated garlic. Granulated garlic. I forget. I you really want us to have great breath. It's okay. <laughs> You're fine. There's some courtesy mints. Wait, no, I have some there's coffee. Not. <laughs> um, <laughs> my coffee so, and sausage. Doing good. Ready for a So you're just going to kind of press this into the flour. Get it coated on all sides. And then into the egg wash. And this is where cooking gets messy, but if it's not messy, it's not fun. <laughs> so make sure you're nice and coated there. You're so you witty. And then right into your breadcrumbs. And I'm going to move that over with the two clean fingers that I have. Um, get that back on the heat. And then press the other side in there. Get that nice and coated. And there you go. There is your beautiful breaded Yum. chicken breast. From our anorexic chicken. Yeah. So we'll do this one super quick. What are those pan panko 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 bread crumbs? Yes, those like a Japanese free. style bread crumb. Those aren't gluten free. Correct? No, uh, they used to. I haven't found one recently, but they used to have a rice version. Um, but like I said, it's been a couple of years since I've seen a gluten-free rice uh, panko crumb. Mm. My mom loves those panko bread crumbs. Make some chicken or you can do fish. But. Yeah, they're they're really great for um, for fish. I use them a lot on like sea bass. Sea bass, I don't know if I've had a sea bass. Chilean sea bass was very popular in the 90s, but because then it started Jurassic to get over Park. fish. <laughs> Is that why? What's that? Believe it. Because it was in Jurassic Park. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm just all right, so we got those. It's possible. Possible explanation. <laughs> Movies influence our generation. How, how's the uh, how's the sausage? Good. Pepper? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna eat I'm all like of those. Watching. Okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna finish all that. <laughs> I'm gonna eat all the chicken. You know, I wash chicken off my hands. And then I'm gonna take a nap. And then I'm gonna go run for a trip. No. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. No, the right. eating thing be tired. Well, we are chicken free. It's a hard job, but somebody's gotta do it. Right. And the other, the other good thing about um, this too is, is when they're pounded that thin, they'll cook a little bit better, more yeah. even. Okay. Um, so we're just gonna get where it goes here. And you didn't put anything in the pan. Uh, just some olive oil. Okay. How do you get it so it's not like? Um, whenever I try and do that, it's like shooting out hot oil everywhere. I think I'm doing something wrong. I mean, I'm guessing I'm, how did you, you just turn it down? So. Yeah. Hey, I've been there. It's like, have a degree in music, everybody. Stand back. Okay. Well, see, if I have You're any- You're pretty untalented. You, you, it's okay. You have- um, If I have any questions, that. I'll give you a call. Okay. 
just open line of communication. I'm just, you know, I do a lot of stupid things with cooking, so. Mm -hmm. it's, like it's just, it's maybe just, overthinking it. I don't know. I tend to do that too. Okay. Generally, if I'm messing something up, I'm overthinking it. Okay. Like dancing. <laughs> I am way overthinking it. I just like can't go out there and and Never. Like, dance because I I like wait should I and then and and then it's just well, it's then it's just stupid. More, like, at that shifting point. weight anyway, which kind of like, bothers me. Then like the like, paramedics are coming up to me. Or? Are you okay? Ah, it's just awkward. The paramedics. I want to see you dance, Drew. My uh, yeah, I, I don't know if you do. Um, my mom told me a story when I was four and in nursery school the kids were like dancing in the middle of the room it was like activity time or something and the teacher asked me and she said well why aren't you dancing and I said because I don't want to look silly Aww, I was four four year old Drew Aww. and my mom said well all the other kids are dancing and I said at four and they all look silly oh wow and I just stood <laughs> so I don't know it's something that has haunted me forever maybe I should take like a uh Take ballroom dancing lessons or something. I'll take some classes with you. That would be fun. It'd be kind of fun. You know. Yeah. Be able to do some things. Or you can just get drunk. Usually that usually <laughs> helps. Well, that stops you overthinking. Yeah, and exactly. Just, and then you're just you're just done. And, and everyone's a good dancer. Right. I uh, photographed a wedding a couple weeks ago. Uh, actually, of our yeah our food cam guy. Got married and I was Food photographing his wedding for him Jeremy. and uh, Food Food quite some priceless shots of the friends dancing. Yeah. There's, there's some good stuff in there. But it yeah. also solidifies <laughs> my theory <laughs> from four years old of Yeah. But it was it was our friend Jay. Jay. So, you know, he's it also solidifies the drinks of alcohol. Well yeah, there's that. Alright, so wedding now day. that we got a nice here on these, what we are going to do is take them onto a pan. Oh like my so. goodness. And then this is where it gets really fun. We take the spoon here. We are going to take our. Take that sweet tomato sauce. Sure, food cam is getting this for the people at home. Nice layer of the tomato sauce on there. He does make it look so easy. I know. <laughs> this is not how this. Remember to either shut off your burner or take the pan yeah. off, or your. Or boom. Like almost happened. Sorry about yeah. the burning breadcrumb smell. Um, mm. This is a, a six cheese blend of like mozzarella. So happy Parmesan, <laughs> Asiago. Like so happy with that. <laughs> they should just add cheese to one of the love languages of food. Cheese. So we're up to like seven. Yeah. Seven love. I can't name the other five. And cheese. I feel like that's got addictive hormones in it too, which is so good. So this. I like zero nutritional here. value. Huh? I like zero nutritional. Yeah. And people like, no, it's got dairy in it. It's like, yeah, okay. Dairy's okay for you. Most people. That's like saying a cheeseburger has vegetables in it. <laughs> well, they do. <laughs> I mean, it's how I, it's how I justify In and Out because you can get a protein style with no bun, and then it's just like yeah. lettuce, tomato, onion, and a little mm. bit of beef on good? top. It's like, like yes. it's like a head of lettuce, right, with so a burger in it. Yeah, that see that just screams healthy <laughs> to me. That's my cheat, honestly, because being gluten free, you can't eat a lot of fast food because everything's good breading or. You know, That's so get true. the protein style, with the fries, so good. Right. Um, so this was at, um, I'm going to leave this over here. This was, That was at um, Asiago, uh, Parmesan, Romano mm -hmm. kind of thing in there. So now we're going to take this. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I know. That. And we're going to bake that. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening right now? Well, I mean, it is, you know. This is like, this is the chicken breast. Parmesan, this and I'm right in the middle of yeah. that. There we go. I'm not complaining, I'm just... I think you should do a, a reality yeah. show and, and teach men how to cook, and, you know? And then, like, the prize is, like, a girl at the end. I'll, I'll, I'll go on, too. Get With the that theory, really cook. I should have been, like, married <laughs> six times. <laughs> um, so... Six, wait, six <laughs> times? On. Married and divorced? What? No, I'm not. Oh. To say with that theory... Never mind, we're going to well, move on. you're not. <laughs> uh, so the pasta that's going to go with this um, is... We're using a... 
Yeah. We're using, oh, um, this is a quinoa like pasta. Quinoa. Um, oh. Yeah. Where do you get that? Um, a lot of the health food stores have it. This is um, from our friends at Ancient Harvest. Uh, they sent us some stuff I'm like, here, cook with it. Uh, nice. So we are, and we did. Um, <laughs> okay. And this is their, this is their <laughs> spaghetti. Um, and this one, I'm going to kind of go a little old school with this. This is a pasta that I remember from um, my teen years working in an um, Italian restaurant in Detroit. Um, so we got the shaved garlic again. Detroit. What, what? So we got that. Is hockey over? Not Sorry. yet. Not yet. Boston's going to make sure it is, though. Mm. Um, and then we got some um, we got some anchovy fillets. And if you don't like anchovies, what? it's okay because it's going to be very mild. I've never had an anchovy. Oh, my God. As long as I don't see right it with the eyes and the head. No, no. There's oh there's God. none of that. They're just oh like they're just oh little salted gosh. anchovy okay. fillets. Okay, I promise. You the boss. I'll try anything once. I'm not gonna. Oh god. So those are gonna go in there. Have you had it before? There it is. No. I've never had anchovy. You, you, do, you don't like you don't like things with like eyes on there. I don't like things with eyes. No, these are these yeah. are just the fillets. There's no. There's no. There's no eyes. No. Okay. I was in Peru and I tried a jungle rat. It didn't have a head though, thank gosh. It did have like the little hip and thigh and stuff intact, but. You ate a jungle rat? I don't even know what kind of rat or she, she where did. they, I did, yeah. It was that or, you know, I mean, you that hungry? <laughs> no, it was like, where, we're starving it in was, yeah. Well, the, the, where I was volunteering, the program director was vegetarian, so it was like, on the weekend, we're gonna go out and try. I mean, it was that, chicken, beef, try a jungle rat. Oh, I mean, I, so I still to this day don't know it because it didn't have a face. I don't want that. There's <laughs> no ah, jungle rat. It's, it's jungle rat sausage. <laughs> Wow. Rat, sausage. Well, but just the whole concept and the fact that you ate that, I'm one fairly impressed. <laughs> yeah. Because I'll be like, do you have a leaf or something I could use <laughs> instead? Maybe some berries. Yeah. yeah. I mean. Could we go fishing? I also don't like um, like calamari when they really? have the the, the tentacles. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I won't eat the tentacles either. Really? No. Mm. I like those. Can't do it. I, Can't do it. Uh, no, ah! I, I don't. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't like. Oh, I, don't know. I think I just always watched what my dad did, and he would, he would get this like um, pasta seafood pasta, and it had little tentacles in it. So I'd always mm. if he ate, you know, I just wanted yeah. to try whatever he tried. It's very twenty thousand leagues. I don't know. I just, um, uh, like, so oh God. No. you guys at home, we're just getting a nice caramelization on this. Just kind of getting those nice bad. and brown. On I the did, garlic there. I did eat a cricket for Cinco de Mayo too. Into this. What is going on? Mexican. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we were at this um, authentic Mexican restaurant. I cannot. It's like fear think. factor. Yeah. The, right. Well, the pleasure version. Well, just like, doing it because. I didn't really want to do it, but I, it's a state in Mexico. It starts with a Q, and I'm very bad at remembering the name of it. But it, um, it's their tradition to eat a lot of bugs and stuff because they didn't have a lot of meat, so they get protein in their diet by eating bugs. And they would season the crickets. So mm -hmm. I was there one time on a date, and the guy ate it. So I was back with oh friends, and I was joking. And I said to the owner, "Oh, do you have crickets?" And he brought them out. But then he presented and gave it, you know, us like a little tray yeah. of them. And so I was like, "I guess we have it. the guys just pop them in their mouth." And I was on the spot. So, You're like, oh, but I mean, that's a bug with the, t you know, the yeah. antennas, the eyes, the yeah, no, ugh, the legs. It was. <laughs> Are you guys still hungry? <laughs> yeah, sorry guys, um, sorry. So but for the good. food came here, I added in some uh, salt, pepper, a uh, little bit of uh, red pepper flakes, and the rest of the fresh herbs that we had, uh, and then just a little bit of wine. Get to finish that off. Drunk in the morning. I promise I'll if cook it only off. only cook it off. I promise. But there are things, yeah, fear factor. Oh, God. Oh, man. I used to watch that show. I feel like, yeah. why are they doing this? It got to a point, like the stunts and stuff were cool on there, but yeah. then it got to a point the where it's like it was all about just eating just gross disgusting. stuff. and Cow brain. I don't the know. Worms, that's not, the worm cocktail. Oh, God. That's, not really, that's not really fear for like me as much as it is just gross. Like, no. No. When they bury right, them in the so, maggots and stuff, I'm like, what is this? Make sure this is maggots. Oh, that looks good. So quinoa pasta. Because quinoa are, the, are those little round mm -hmm. things. Which are great. It's I've I've become a fan of it over the last few years. Yeah. Yeah. It's neat that they can make pasta. Do you like quinoa? That's the brown stuff, right? Uh, there's brown. Like there's white. It's a little grain. It's kind of like if rice was shorter. 
I heard it was very good for you, no, yada I'll yada. Bolt. Bought some, tried I making I it. That. I did not cook it well or something. It just, I add a little butter and it just wasn't, I don't know, I'm not a chef. But, but, um. But you know what? But, um, people get it in their salads and stuff and it's, it's good. Yeah, it's, um. If I knew how to cook it better, I still have some in my cabinet. I'm just. There's two kinds, and you know, again, from our friends over at Ancient Harvest, no shameless yeah, okay. product plug there. Yeah, then go red. Um, and then huh. there's there's a traditional one, which is you know, kind of white in there. Um, I'll, this one's a little earthy. So like, if you're like white rice mood, go with this one. Mm -hmm. Wild rice, go with this one. You can mix them. Mix them up. Hmm. Kima pasta, interesting. We'll get some room to plate this for you here. Nice little spice in that pasta. Oh my god, I Pasta, I know. I'm like full already. That's why I'm, I'm like ready to go. Pacing. All done? No, pacing. Oh, great. It's all going to be my dinner. Let me uh, clear some of this for you. So we can get your chicken parmesan down here. Cool. I'll Thank you. I should probably save my utensils. I still have my bruschetta up there. I pretty much killed bruschetta. that though. And you know it was nice. Cause I like the I like the capers. Everyone like puts basil in there. I like the capers just because it's a little bit of a different flavor. Um, you know, and I've always got to twist something up. Yeah. Do it differently. I like the capers. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, they weren't overpowering. Wow. Well, I'm gonna give those about one more minute. Just get that cheese kind of baked on there a little bit. More. Oh man, cheese. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> While we're doing so, that. I can't believe it's almost been an hour. I'm having so much fun just sitting here and eating. <laughs> I can't even tell you. You know, that's that's kind of the, the trade-off. We wake you up early on a Saturday. Like, normally this would be for dinner, but you know what? Yeah, when I watch episodes, I always feel, get a dinnery vibe, but then I realize having coffee and bruschetta. You can only do so many uh, breakfast episodes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You should have an all dessert episode too. I thought about that, but we'd need about three hours to do it. Yeah, baking and stuff takes a little bit longer, huh? Yeah. Well, just do wine and dessert, Ooh. and then your guests will be thoroughly entertained, <laughs> or I will be entertaining. Drunk and happy. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna take these out. Double check on these just to make sure. It's getting hot in here. These are all oh, you're gonna be so happy. Good cooking. Let me take this guy, and you know what? This is gonna be much smarter for me to do this. Look at you, ninja. Ninja. Food ninja. It looks like a pizza, a pizza boat. So we're just gonna set that on there. Uh, there it is. I haven't been able to have Italian food in so long. <laughs> Do you go back to New York a lot? Perform there too? Mm -hmm. So for you at home, here is our chicken parmesan with our garlic and olive oil pasta. That is going to be yummy and delicious. You were born and raised in the city? I was born and raised a little bit north of the city, but then I moved to Manhattan. And we're going to get cool. this over to our guests. I've only been in New York City once. Oh my god. And put more cheese Love in Right? We could have... Of course you can't. There you just need bacon on this and it'll be... There you go. Great. Thank you. Dig wow. in. Yeah. I'm going All right. to, but my stomach's like... Alright, <laughs> And then just yeah, as man. you guys do that, and take your bites. Um, so I hope you guys, like, enjoyed everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will be a guest as many times as you want me to come and eat mm -hmm. your delicious glue. Yes? Working for you? Is, it, is this... No gluten in this. Is, it, is, is this hitting, you know, is this bringing back some, you know... This is really good. I can't tell the difference. That's the trick. That's what good. Yes. That is the trick. I am going to go say goodbye to our viewers, mm -hmm. and I will be mm -hmm. right back. Mm. Okay, everyone, we are oh my goodness. through so episode good. 11, Italian Favorites. Um, all the recipes are on our website, as well as all the recipes from our past episodes, so you can catch up, you can watch them at your leisure. Um, next week, we are doing some summertime grilling stuff. Uh, Joel Bryant will be here. 
Um, he's bringing his trainer with him. Uh, he had Joel on a gluten-free diet for uh, a few weeks, so that'll be um, some interesting conversation there, probably very educational for everybody. Um, that's it. I am Chef Andrew Doyle. Thank you for joining us on Eat, Taste, Live Live. We will see you next week. Enjoy the rest of your day.